everyone. I'm Miss Stephanie, and this is Just for Kids. It's great to see you again. High five, big hug, and a kiss. How many of you guys have one of these in your kitchen? How many of you have a mom or a dad who can't make it through their morning without at least one cup of coffee? A lot of adults and even some teenagers need coffee as an essential part of the day. People can't begin their day without a cup of coffee. But there's a funny irony in people's dependence on coffee. Coffee takes a little time to make. You can't just open the fridge, take the cap off a jug of coffee, and pour yourself a tall glass of hot coffee. You have to wash out the pot, dump out yesterday's coffee grounds, add a filter, put the coffee, new coffee, in the filter, put the filter in the coffee cup, in the coffee pot, pour in the hot water, and then wait for the coffee to slowly drip, drip, drip down into the pot. Imagine how frustrating it can be for some people who desperately need that cup of coffee having to wait as long as five whole minutes to get their coffee so they can get their work started. Now, imagine waiting 40 years before you can get started on your work. That's the story of Moses. Many of you may remember Moses as the man who led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. But did you know that Moses had to wait 40 years before he was ready to do that job? Moses was raised in the palace by the Pharaoh's daughter, but he was an Israelite who was well aware of his heritage thanks to his birth mother. Moses saw the way that the Egyptians were treating the Israelites and he wanted to help them. In fact, one day he killed an Egyptian for mistreating a Hebrew slave. But violence was not part of God's plan for Moses. And these actions led to him living in exile as a shepherd. He lived in the wilderness, far from the splendor of Egypt, tending sheep for his father-in-law. Then one day, 40 years after leaving Egypt, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and told him to return to Egypt. God has a plan for all of our lives, but for some people, those plans are difficult to see, and for others, they could not be any more clear. But whether God gives you a clear calling or keeps you guessing, Remember the story of Moses. Wait on the Lord and let him tell you when it is time to act. You may think you have it all figured out, but God sees many things we cannot see. Wait on the Lord and you will be amazed at his perfect timing. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your perfect timing, that you can see so much more, and that you will guide us. And all God's children said, Amen. If you want to read the story about Moses and his 40 years of waiting, go to chapter 3 of the book of Exodus in the Old Testament of the Bible. Exodus is the second book in the Bible. Thanks for joining me today on Just for Kids. I'll see you next time. High five, big hug, and a kiss. 
If you appreciated this video and would like to see more great content, please like and subscribe to all of our Oakhurst UMC channels. Also, sharing is caring.